Hi guys, in this video I cover identifier names. In particular, I cover the chemicase naming convention. A naming convention is a set of rules how to name your variables, your functions, or your custom data types. A naming convention is very useful so that the code among developers and engineers looks the same. When everybody follows the same naming convention and you work in a team of developers, it is much easier for you to understand another developer's code. This makes the team more efficient, because when you have to make changes to code that you did not write yourself, it is much faster for you to understand that code and apply those changes. Let's take a look at the rules of the camel case naming convention. The first rule is that an identifier must only contain letters and digits. The second rule is it must start with a lowercase letter. Next, the first word must be all lowercase and subsequent word must start with an uppercase letter. Finally, it may end with digits. Let's go over a few examples. A very simple example is int a. Another example, int i. These follow the camel case naming convention. Also character ch, for example. Note that these may not be the best examples. When you have a variable that stores, for example, a house number, you don't want to use a, you don't want to use h, you don't want to use a single character. What you want to do is always pick meaningful variable names. So for the example house number, you would pick int house number. Note that the first word house is all lowercase. The next word, the subsequent word, must start with an uppercase letter. In this case, it's the letter n, followed by lowercase letters. Another example would be sales tax. Again, sales tag, sales is all lowercase, while tax starts with an uppercase letter. Another example could be int number one. So here is a word number followed by a single digit. You can have any number of digits as the last point uh, indicates. Sometimes very common is also just num1, num2, and so on. Again, don't just use num1 if, it's, if the variable stores a value that represents something specific. For example, the age. In this case, you would pick age. Always pick, pick a meaningful variable names. Now, what should you not do? What you shouldn't do is use abbreviations. For example, uh, prem tickets. In this case, if it's a premium ticket, always spell the words out. You can use abbreviations if they are very common, such as average. That is fine. But if they are not common, don't come up with your own uh, abbreviations. Spell the words out and possibly use multiple words if needed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.